Well, we are back, and Deltios is here. Now, yes, his name is Deltios. People pointed out that his name is not actually spelt Deltios because it has an extra S in. But Deltios has been going through these troubles all his life. People making fun because he doesn't know how to pronounce his own name, but that is how he pronounces his name. It's a silent S. So, guys, you're making him upset. Stop. But we are back in Mountain Blade 2 Battlelord, and it's an exciting episode because Rome is finally going to be started. As you can see, We've done all the Noretzi's Folly missions. I did this off screen. If you want to go and see how to create your own empire, go and watch my video that I put up last night on doing the tutorial for it. But we've got Clan Tier 3. We've already done that. We've done a pretty good job. We're already independent because we didn't pledge ourselves to anyone. That was a good call. Thank you for everyone that voted that on my video. It was probably like the second or third episode. And we own a settlement. We, in fact, own two. So all we need to do now is gather 100 troops. Now, unfortunately, our party can only take 96 men. But that's not really how this game works. You can go over your troop capacity, but people will desert. But if we recruit from here, one, two, three, four, then yes, we'll go over the capacity. But because we're already in the city with the guy that we need to talk to, no one's going to desert. So... Mate, I've got everything. Oh, I know what you need to do. Okay, so it sometimes does. It's a bit weird. You sort of need to refresh it. So now it's 100. And then pop back in. I've done everything you've asked of me. I'm ready. Very well. I'll have my informants spread the word across the land that there's a new kingdom has arisen. And there we go. We have created a kingdom. And my... Is it exciting? Rome has rebuilt. We now have the Kingdom tab, and we're getting so many new updates to the logs. The kingdom is not going to be called the Banators. That's just my family name. The kingdom is going to be, of course, Rome. Rome has risen. Now, of course, we are only a two-city, I think, place. Actually, no, we have three because we have uh, the Anbalic Castle down in the Azerite Territory. But whilst we're small, we can grow, and Rome is starting today. I am so excited for what this brings to us. If we have a look, I think these policies come a little bit later. You need sort of uh, more influence for that sort of thing. But we can see our thieves, we can see our clans. This is uh, my clan at the moment. They're going to be the head clan, of course, and we have all the members of the clan looking goddamn beautiful. And, of course, now we have armies, diplomacy and stuff. But one thing I want to make sure I'm doing is I need to make an heir. Because Del Dios, whilst, yes, he's a, a cool cat, he's doing his stuff, he's going to get old soon. You can see his hair's already going a little bit grey, he's getting a few wrinkles. We need an heir to take over for when we die. So that's something we need to watch out for. Come on, all of you attack me at once. All of you attack me at once. Come on. There we go. There we go. Now, because this is on an open field, we should be all right with this. Yes, I know they have double our numbers, but that shouldn't matter, men. Just get our cavalry to pop in and do their job. Beard trimmers doing a good job at trimming beards. Arch, you need to be doing a much better job than what you're doing right now. Okay, the arrows are coming in. The arrows are coming in. Hello. Hello there, guys. How are you? I'm using the wrong weapon for this, aren't I? Right, we'll leave them. Cavalry, let's go. Let's get in there. Let's get in there from the back. And the cav coming in behind. Disrupting their formations. Oh, yes. Their morale has been broken. That is it. A victory there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Well, we have run into another staging party. Uh, this shouldn't be too much of a difficulty. Come on, lads. Let's go. Oh, it's been so long since I've been with these beautiful Romans. It's been so goddamn long. To the point where we're going to put our cavalry on this hill and we're going to see a glorious charge down. Ashley, cavalry, you sort your, your stuff out with your sergeants because they've got some guys coming in. Their cav is always such a massive goddamn pain. But if we just lead them into our archers, it shouldn't be too much of a difficulty. Cav, hop off up there. Archers, do your bits. Hopefully our archers should be able to get a lot of fire in at the moment, I'm hoping. Nice, nice. Archers doing a fantastic job, as we can see at the moment. The kills are coming in thick and fast. Is it time to bring up our infantry? I think it is. Time to bring up our infantry into the fray now. Off they go. The command has been given. I'm just going to get my cavalry to pop in now as well. And let's get my archers, the ones that need to, to get up and close. Doing my bit at the back, just making sure we can clear off their archers. And even if we don't kill the archers, to making sure they can stop firing. Because that's going to do a lot of damage to my guys. Oh, yes. Just clearing these boys up. 
This looks to be the end of the enemy. Off they run, running away from my men. Yeah, there's a couple more guys trying to hold up, but they're, yeah, they're, they're done. Well done, lads. Well done, lads. You did a fantastic job. Is there anyone that's still up? Okay, there's, there's 19 people. That's a fair amount, but I think most of them... There we go. They've run away. Well, I can hear death and destruction over here. Someone is attacking one of my villages. Who are you? Oh, it's Raganvad's army. And you know what? I've had enough of you attacking my places. Firth, we're coming to your aid. My guy's lining up, ready to do their bit. This is a deep forest. Unfortunately, it's not going to be great for our cavalry, so we're going to have to really watch out. And here come the enemy coming forward. Come on, lads, do your bit. The cavalry is under command of the sergeants. Hopefully, they can do a great job. Archers, we want to make sure you're not turning the direction you're facing. Please. 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 We basically got no kills in because the arrows have basically been able to do nothing. So we're going to have to get in with our infantry now. This could be quite a brutal attack. There's so many of them coming through. We're going to have to make sure that we're getting enough kills. But I've been stuck in the middle. I do not like this at all. They do have a lot of recruits. So hopefully we should be able to push through. But my, this is absolutely brutal. The battle is raging on and I'm losing men. But it looks like we're able to take out the majority of their guys. Oh, we are starting to lose men faster and faster as time goes on. Come on, lads. Keep fighting. Keep pushing. Keep fighting them back. Our infantry force is just too goddamn weak. Yep, their infantry seems to have taken out all of our infantry. It's down to our archers and cavalry at the moment. Or we might have to pull back and retreat and come back another day. Unfortunately, they still have 100 men. I don't think we're going to be able to do this. We're going to have to come back and fight another day. With most of our men taking heavy casualties, this just is not possible right now. We're going to take shelter in our castle until they move forward. Actually, they only have 94 men and I have a way of getting men very quickly to reinforce. Garrison, come with me. We need all the guys we can get. Yes, we are using mercenaries now, but I think this is more important. If we can take out the king now, this is our chance. We can execute him, and so the Sturgeons are at such a weaker foot. Off we go to try and take this guy down. People are deserting because we're over our limit because of the amount of casualties we have. But come on, catch up with him, catch up with him. Come on, lads, this is it. This is our chance. We have all our reinforcements from the garrison. They have come out to help us. I think we could be in with a good chance here. Okay, set up on this hill here. We may have to go to them, but no, it looks like they're sending their cavalry forward. What small cavalry force they have left are being pelted by our new mercenary archers. An absolutely fantastic job from my men. Once again, we have to make sure our men are facing the correct way. It looks like we've done a decent job there of clearing them up. The cavalry, once again, doing a great job. Where is the rest of their army, though? The army looks like it's being more defensive, so we're going to have to go up and take them out. Right, lads. On me, let's go. Our cavalry protecting our flanks, they should be fine doing that for now. The AI should make them just follow us. That's the great thing about delegating cavalry to sergeants, is because they work on protecting the flanks and they do a good job of clearing them up. It's often better than having to fiddle with everything yourself. Now, we know the enemy is somewhat down in that dip, so if we position and make our way up the hill, we could be at an advantage here. Aha, here they are, here they are. Let's get my archers to hold fire just for now so we can move into position very fast. We got my battalion Fian. Hell yeah, looking awesome. Okay, they're down in the hill there. I think the archers will probably start firing pretty soon down on the enemy. And here come some of the arrows. They are out of formation, but they're also they're very tightly packed together, which is perfect for us. Our archers are already doing a good job. They're luring them up the hill. We will be fighting a downhill battle, which is great. But I think we'll be able to pick off quite a lot before they even get up. My men holding that wall, the mercenary Nordic fighters. And they're trying to push up, but they're being taken down one by one. The cavalry has been sent in, it seems. Or is the cavalry just going around the edge? Well, we'll get our infantry to hold for now. Archers, you just got to get in there. We're going to get our archers in there. Get them just hacking and slashing. It looks like we're doing a fantastic job. And a fantastic job it is. They have been taken out thick and fast. They have weaker men because we destroyed their heavier guys in the previous battle. Once again, it seems like these Sturgeons are pretty decent at sustained combat. So they're getting some kills on, but it's just not enough to do anything. Fantastic job. They flee from the battle. I think that was Raganvad's army, who was the leader of the Sturgeons. Oh. Second time lucky. Raganvad, you are my prisoner. And we can get some militia archers as well to fill the spots. And it is time to put the guys that we have just brought out into battle back in to the castle. They helped us and they did a fantastic job. But we've got to go and recruit men of our own. Empire men. Roman men. Actually, in fact, the garrison of this castle is pretty big. So we're going to take some guys out. We're going to keep some mercenaries in our army just for a wee bit longer. With more men under our belt, it's time to do a little bit more cleaning of this Sturgeon mess. 
Look at them there on the other side of the river, thinking they're all that, but they know they're going to be dead soon. Come on, lads. Come on, lads. Let's get into range. Oh, wow. We have, like, no archers. <laughs> That's awkward. Look at these guys. They are so awesome. The Batanian Fian champion. My god. Letting loose on our arrows already. Trying to get some hits on them. And because they may have more men. But we are so much more accurate and powerful in terms of our skirmishes. Look at the amount of hits we're getting. That's what you get for hiring recruits. Fortunately, it looks like that has drawn them over the river. So they'll be popping their heads up soon. And we'll uh, greet them with a few of my men. My true... Some of them. <laughs> Go on, lads. Getting some great shots in our archers. Even though weak, we're doing a fantastic job. Let's get ready to move our footman up. And there we go. The axes are starting to come in. We can just hold our ground there. And the cavalry coming in from the side. Doing a fantastic job, as always. Making sure they can get those hits in behind. And the enemy seems to have broken pretty much instantly. And that green text always being a good sign. The sign for our men to start rushing forward and taking out the last three. They have an imperial crossbowman. I'm not happy with that. Well, I hope he dies a horrible death. And it looks like he has. That is a shame. How many more are there? Run! All of you, run! How many more are he clearing up? Jesus Christ, I'm just whipping these guys down one by one. Oh, it's like harvesting wheat. It's as if it's harvesting season. Oh, yes. My lovely, lovely pole arm. Well, we've got too many prisoners. Time to clear them out. Starting with you, Raganbad. This is what you have done to me. For years you have been stopping me from capturing your castles, you selfish bastard. Execution time. Now you may notice a lot of my relations have been decreased by a lot of people. But they didn't like the fact that I killed most of the lords of their faction. Jesus Christ, I get it. You don't like me. I killed all your people. Just calm down, please. Stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, a healer. I could definitely do with a healer. Oh, it has been a long time, Mazadan Castle. This is the castle, if anyone doesn't know, that I've been trying to siege for so long now. I think, finally, it might be our time. And because we have killed off most of the Sturgeon Lords, we can spend as much time as we want here. You can see that 137 is going down rapidly because they have no food. So the bar is going more and more on our time, and we're able to build as much seed weaponry as we want. We're having a siege tower, a battering ram, two onagers, and two trebuchets. And here we have it, everything built and ready to go. We've got our two trebuchets, we have our battering ram, and where is our siege tower? It should be somewhere over here. I'm not sure. They'll go and find it. We have an onager there as well. We're going to try and make it up onto this wall. Our men pushing up the battering ram. I'm hoping this can get to the door because the door will be the perfect way to get in. And the trebuchet is doing their bit, firing down on the walls. Oh, look at that. Fire going up. Oh, yes. That's what I like to see. A good amount of seed weaponry firing. It looks like the battering ram is going to make it. They have the support there. Looks like they're doing a great job. I don't think it's in range of any onagers that can hit it down now. See if I can do a little bit of help here. Right, let's fire some shots off. And they are shooting us back. We've got to watch out for that. Okay, so our siege ram is about to get there. I don't know what's happened to the siege tower. That's fine. We've still got enough to get in. Good job by my trebuchets doing their bit. Here comes another shot coming in now. Where's it going to land? Where's it going to land? Onto the walls, breaking down the crenellations. I saw that, got a kill there. And of course, the more crenell... Oh, good shot there, taking out those guys, defending the walls over in that direction. Okay, the ladders are going to be going up very soon on this side. Let me see if I can help. One taken down, and another taken down. Right, this is going great. This is going fantastic. Go on, lads, let's get up onto the walls now. They're going to have some guys come in to help them very, very soon. So let's watch out. We're going to see what I can do to help. Up onto the walls we go. There's no one defending it. Oh my god, this is perfect. This is actually perfect. All we need to do is get up now. Our companion's going first. Vera the wrong doing a bit. She is a good fighter and we're up onto the walls. Come on, lads. Clear them out. We need to get more men onto the walls now. But we're doing a fantastic job. I'm going to see if I can go and open the gate. The gate is being defended. Surely it's being battered down pretty soon. Right, let's get inside this tower. The gate house. And we've broken through the gate there. We can see on that side. Let's get these guys that are on the catapult. Take them down. They're being backed into that corner. This is perfect. This is going perfectly. Few of the wrongs with a bow. We've smashed through the gate here. I'm jumping down. See if I can do a bit of damage from behind. Just pow some arrows into these guys. And through some men come through the gate. They are just trying to defend that gate. But there's no point because they have men coming up behind them. And that man is me. Our Palantine guard are fantastic at shooting. So they should be able to do a lot of damage. Nice. We can see our men on the wall. 
pushing them back. They are starting to retreat now. Fantastic job by those guys. And there the enemy go, running, running to the keep. But my men are chasing them down. Doing a fantastic job. There's some archers there, see if we can help take these guys out. Oh, it looks like they're, <laughs> they're being taken out themselves. After all this time, lads, we finally captured this castle. It took so long. The combined arms of siege weaponry, a lot of mercenary warriors, some great archers, and some good siege engines, we managed to take it. And there's nothing they can do. It wasn't even a hard fight. We just came out on top. Let's hope we can recreate that later on in the Empire. Upgrading our men, hell yeah, looking goddamn beautiful. And <laughs> finally, I can't believe we have this place. Oh, it's taken so long. And now the Empire is growing. We have Ov Castle, we have Mazadan, and of course, we have Uxakala. Now, this place looks like it's going to be off borders for now. But, as you notice here, we have few Sturgeon cities that stand in our way. Once you capture Omor, that is it for this area. And then we can slowly start pushing through. Looks like that's what's going to happen next. But, I'm not sure we're going to be able to do it with the army we have now. And that means creating more companions. More counts and then calling them in to our army. But for now, we've done it. We took the castle and we did a fantastic job. I can't wait to see what happens next as we continue to rebuild the Roman Empire.